Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about why I still play a 10 year old game. So Space Engineers came out in 2013, it has been out for a decade, and in that time, while there have been many improvements and many changes, a lot of stuff has not changed. But I think the things that haven't changed are a big reason why people still play this game. The other day, me and some of my friends were playing on the server and we had some experiences and I realized this is why this game is still good and this is why this game is still popular. Because even though it's a space sim slash survival builder game and there have been many that have come out in the last 10 years, Space Engineers is one of the most flexible and allows you to do some things that you would never be able to do on other more complex survival games. For example, here we're getting absolutely massacred by an NPC as we attempt to land an outpost on a moon on server and <laughs> while we are getting blown up we are laughing the whole time and just really enjoying the experience because we know that this is about to be one of those classic Space Engineers moments. And when I say classic Space Engineers moments, everyone who knows a lot about Space Engineers or has been in the community for a long time is going to know exactly what's about to happen. We're crash landing on this planet and because it'll take time to bring resources on another ship or have someone bring them over to us, we are going to have to engineer our way out of this uh, situation. And because this is a block based building game, it has the core functionality to allow you to take a crash landed outpost like this and turn it into either a ship or some other way to survive or a way to move around or a way to get out of the situation you are in and salvage it without having to basically restart, which I think is really cool. And I think it's a big part of why people still play this game after 10 years of it being out with outdated graphics, even though it can be beautiful at times, especially with mods and plugins that improve the rendering. Um, but, you know, obviously you can see we're excited that we even made it to the ground because we know as a couple of Space Engineers veterans that we have the ability to get out of this, that we can make this work, even if it is a crappy situation. And so here we are, you know, turning our crash outpost into a rover so we can drive across the planet. One of our friends came over from another part on the planet so they drop off a couple of parts but besides that they really couldn't bring enough to allow us to build a fully functional ship so we're just scrapping together what we can from our ship and the few supplies that they brought to really turn this into a uh, a functional tr means of transportation to get across this planet and because you can do that and there's you know, creativity, especially in a multiplayer experience like this, where you have to work together and make sure everything uh, functions correctly, I think it allows this game to have had the longevity and, you know, the life that it has had. And of course, once you get that done, and once you finally get through all the jankiness of turning a stationary outpost that was never meant to be mo like mobile into a giant four wheeled rover, and then you have to drive it 50 kilometers across the planet uh, to another base, you get, you know, a cool experience like this where you are on your own, you have to survive, you have to turn whatever you have into a functional piece of gameplay. And I think the ability to create your own content like that is, is really important. And it's something that a lot of games are really lacking at the core level that I think Space Engineers has been able to maintain over you know the last decade. And of course you get cool experiences like this. You're all sitting in VC with your friends you know, waiting and going across the server, scouting the obstacles over the horizon, looking for the ore you need, building on the move. Um, because it is such a versatile block-based system, it allows you to do that. And I think it really allows, you know, players to create these core memories that sometimes other games would not let you. You're not just, you know, joining a, a deathmatch and killing everyone you can and then leaving and starting over again. It really is about trying to preserve what you have. And, and you can look back and say, oh, remember that time we crashed into the moon and had to turn our base into a rover and drive across the planet to get to the rest of our base that was on the other side of the planet? And, you know, everyone can laugh about it. And as long as you aren't really, really butthurt about getting shot up, you know, it allows you to have a really, really fun time overall. 
but yeah that's it that's the video today i just you know i took a week off from the game and just thinking about getting back into it i wanted to remind myself of why you know i still play this decade old game and it's for incredible experiences and community engagement like this and getting to play with your friends and really experience you know some beautiful things when it comes to working together with others